First tonight, state leaders are trying to come up with a way to keep kids safe without keeping them out of school more than they need to be. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Today, Rhode Island Governor Dan McKee announced a new pilot program for schools aimed at decreasing the number of students missing class because of quarantine. And tonight, we're getting new reaction from the state's superintendent association and learning what it could mean for your child. 12 News reporter Kim Colonian joins us now live in studio with what she's learned. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, it's called Test and Stay, and it's being used in places like Massachusetts, where kids who would normally be at home quarantining instead stay in their classrooms and undergo multiple days of rapid testing. I think there was maybe 4,000 of our 145,000 kids that were in quarantine uh, recently. From a percentage point of view, um, that's that's strong. We just want to make it better. Governor Dan McKee is saying Thursday he's heard from multiple superintendents concerned about the number of kids missing class due to quarantines. We all know that safe in person learning is the best option for our children and we want to make sure that our students have as many in person undisrupted school days for learning in this year as possible. To help in that effort, McKee says the state will be launching something called a test and stay pilot program, where kids who would normally be kept home under current COVID mitigation guidelines would instead be able to undergo testing while staying in class. McKee says Westerly has already expressed interest. Yeah, Westerly is one of the districts um, of which I was aware that uh, had expressed an interest. I believe there's also a district in the northern part of the state. Tom DePella is the executive director of the Rhode Island School Superintendents Association. He says administrators began expressing concern almost immediately after the school year began about quarantine guidelines, which initially said a person, student, or staff who has any one symptom of COVID-19 should stay home or be sent home from school, regardless of vaccination status. Those symptoms could include cough, runny nose, or a headache. On Thursday evening, a spokesperson for the health department says they updated their guidance earlier this week to allow districts to take that approach or apply the criteria used last year. But a number of people have raised concerns about that, that they were quarantining kids that ultimately turned out, um, you know, were, were testing negative. And DePaula tells me he hopes superintendents will learn more about the specifics of the test and stay program next week. Another thing also on the horizon, the potential approval of vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11, something Dr. Alexander Scott says would be another tool towards limiting spread and those quarantines. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.